my brother, he started rowing when he was in high school in grade nine, and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. I just, we'd always go and watch his races, and just the, the dynamic of the sport and watching them on the water, I just wanted to do it from day one. When I was in grade 10, I had the opportunity to move up and train with the seniors. And um, part of that senior group was Carly Shan, who graduated just this past year um, from the UT rowing team. And she was my idol. I just, I loved Carly. And she was so welcoming to me, um, being a junior and rowing with the senior program. I was terrified. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I just wanted to stay to myself. But she was just so welcoming and was always there to support me. And I just loved everything about her. So when I found out she was going to Texas, I wanted to do everything <laughs> in my power to follow in her footsteps. So that's, that's what I did. I came here because of Carly. The University of Texas was my first visit uh, when I was in grade 12 and I came down here and it was just unbelievable. I just, I remember going to the football game and seeing that there was 100,000 people in the stands and I was just mind blown, like I couldn't believe where I was. I have to say my favorite part is um, the way the team works as a whole, the way that there needs to be a cohesiveness on the water and off the water and if it's not there it doesn't work. It's just your team becomes really your family and it's just there's no other sport like it because there needs to be that cooperation between everyone and, and the, the care for one another or it just doesn't work at all. I really liked the way that I came in here and it was just a completely different coaching style. Like It was a completely different outlook on the sport itself. Um, at home, the coaching was pretty much everyone coached on the same level, it was the same style of coaching, but when you come here, it's people like coach telling me to do things that I've never been told to do before. Following the arc of your shoulder, the arc of the oar handle. And it was just great to think about things from a different perspective. And I think that coming here has really refined my, especially my technique. And it's really helped me become a more efficient rower in general. She comes from a big family. I think she's the oldest. And you know, sometimes in those big families, you just have to ride it out sometimes. She gets the highs, she gets the lows. The lows aren't fun, but she knows they're gonna be over with. She knows why we do those things. She can always be counted on to, to have a smile, to to uh, just kind of brush it off and know that it's not always going to be that way and that, that in, or, you know, in order to be fast you have to have those hard practices day after day because you're going to have some easy practices and then you're going to have a really great race. Look out at your puddle and if your puddle's small, roll harder. I really enjoy her history because I've never had a coach, actually I've never had a female coach to begin with, so it's really interesting to see um, to see how her history reflects her coaching and how she can bring in everything she's been through and translate it to how she's coaching us on the water and you know she she's just fantastic with working with us and and just it's really nice to have a female coach because we have so much respect for her and what she's done for the rowing community in general you know our coach is really famous and in the rowing community so it's just it's just a fantastic opportunity for us as uh, young adults and as young females to have such, you know, such an amazing coach. I see leadership, but I also see that she can just run with it. She can absorb things. She can, um, she works very, very hard. And she's just very consistent and always has a great sense of humor. In high school, I rode all year round. So there was really no opportunity to do any other sport just because of the way I rode club and school. So the only opportunity the rowers had was to join this badminton team that was only went on for two weeks out of the year. It was just fun to try something different that, you know, being rowers we weren't able to do that. The fact that it's Texas in general I think is such an amazing thing. Um, I mean on winter break when I'm running through the streets I get people honking and throwing up their horns and it's just, it's something that no other school in the States has and it's just a great to be to go to a school that's identified worldwide, it's just amazing.